What's up, YouTube? Who that comics and movies coming at you with the little versus match? Uh, I was going to do this match with uh, Jay Blitz. He had a mystery box as well, but I want to do his mystery box separate, give him his own attention. So I'm only going to do that Spider Man booth versus Comic Manage. Um, so. Just texting somebody real quick, but um, but yeah, I wanted I wanted to do his separate so I can just give him his own exposure by himself. What's up, Biohazard? So I'm going to do a uh, you know a little versus match. Uh, van uh, comic Vantage comes. It's like forty dollars shipped. This is from the new season, and I think I, I end up getting this that Spider Man booth. I got. I want to see it was either five or ten dollars off. I want to say it was ten dollars off. Uh, so it basically same price. Um, that was 40. This is like 48 or something like that. Um, also, I had I do have an unboxing. Um, and I want to do I do have an unboxing, but I don't think I'm gonna do that right now. Um, might try to do this really quickly. Then do the unboxing, but uh, let me put my AC on because I'm kind of hot. Excuse me, but uh, I just wanted to do the versus match. Just want to do the versus match for Comic Vanners versus that Spider Man booth. If I have time, I'll do the unboxing. Also, I want to do uh, my haul for 2020 so far. Uh, I'm not going to do that today. Uh, maybe tomorrow uh, I'll do that. You know, if I get all my stuff in, oh, well, I shouldn't say tomorrow. If I get all my stuff in by Friday, I'll do it Friday because tomorrow I actually have to work uh, late. Um, so I won't, won't be doing any videos like that. But Friday afternoon, hopefully uh, all my stuff comes in. I'll do a 2020 haul so far, what I've gotten, what uh, <laughs> has broken my bank. And why I have to move so many books. So, also I'll probably do a preview video for um, what I'm gonna have on the auctions. I'm supposed to be on Thurl's auction this Saturday, and uh, supposed to be on um, I think uh, Strictly Comics is having one as well. So, I can tell you right now I'm gonna have a killer mystery box. Um, just waiting on one more book to come in. Um, it's, I think it's going to be priced around three, uh, not three, uh, price around five, uh, 40. Uh, I'm just waiting on one more book to come in. So be on the lookout for that. That is priced about, I want to say like 75 or 75 to hundred dollars under GPA total. Uh, so we'll see if that comes in. I could do a nice mystery box for you guys. Um, I'm gonna have some big, some nice big boy books. Uh, well, I should say big boy books. Some nice, uh, let's say semi big boy books for the auction as well. What's up, Chino Comics and more? So, like I said, I got an unboxing later. I might do that after, right after, do a separate video. It's my CGC books from uh, Tom McFarlane. And also, I'm going to do, like I said, um, like what I've uh, gotten so far. So, um, let me start opening uh, the Spider Man book stuff up because. That one takes the longest time because um, it comes, you know, in these two boxes. So I'm basically doing two Spider-Man book boxes versus one Comic Manage because of the price point. Uh, I ended up getting the, the Comic, uh, the Spider-Man boost for. Um, normally, I think Spider-Man boost is like uh, like fifty dollars, uh, fifty nine dollars. But like I said, I think. Uh, I think I either got these five dollars off or ten dollars off. I can't remember. Still close enough for the price point. So let me know in the chat which one. Oh, Southern Geek, hit me up on IG, man. Um, what I'm going to do, I'll just end up mailing that book off. I went to my shop today, and that was probably my only trip to New Orleans. I'm going to make. I end up finding a pretty good pickup. Like I said, I'll show that in the uh, Friday, uh, you know, 2020 pickups. Uh, for spawn collectors, I give a hint for spawn collectors. I saw a pretty good pickup. 
Um, so you'll see that uh, Friday. Um, probably going to sell it because, um, uh, you know, I think somebody else can appreciate it more. But it's a pretty nice high grade copy, a 9 4 copy at least. That's all I got. So let me know in the chat which ones you want to. Uh, yeah, Chino Comes and More says Hulk smash that like button. So I'm going to shout out the chat, show them up so you can click them and run, sub them up if you want. You got Biohazard, like I said, Superior Hero Reviews, Chino Comics and More. And that's saying he said Hulk smash that like button, Southern Comic Geek. So appreciate you guys stopping in. Let me know in the chat in the in the stream yard which one you want me to start with. You want to do Comic Bandage or Spider Man booth? Um, I'm saying do Spider-Man booth. What's up, Geek Aficionado? Um, and like I said, I'll do like my uh, while I'm waiting for some people to. Uh, I got I'm glad you got to catch one of my live shows. Well, yeah, I appreciate that so much. Uh, so Chino says Spider-Man booth. Uh, so I'll do one of those first. Um, I don't. I, I'm pretty sure it's no grand prize. Um, And Jigs Kingdom, what's up? Uh, so, like I said, uh, Friday I'll do the haul video. Well, I'm looking for one more person to break the tie. Um, and I'll do a preview for the auction stuff. Um, some of the books sold on the last auction later on. Uh, um. So if anybody was interested in those books, they're gone. Hi, Leah. What's up, man? I got Chad RCG. <laughs> uh, and hi, Leah. Appreciate you guys stopping in. So uh, since I saw Spider-Man booth first, I'm going to go with Spider-Man booth. And then we'll just go from there. Uh, no bubble wrap. So uh, no... GP and I don't think I think I don't think I think this was a regular book, but I know it's no GP in here So we're gonna see and you guys can vote Comic Vantage or Spider-Man booth who won the rounds So we got Madras Oops. This is uh, this, this is real life If I if I did collect this really nice fill of book we got oh Marvel Zombie Resurrection. This is a variant copy. Let's see who did the cover. I don't know uh, it's not out to Sedan because I know his signature. That's not him, so I don't know who did this cover. We got Comic Head eighty four. What is up? I was actually thinking about guys doing a, a mystery box. Uh, only 10 of them, and I was thinking about doing $85, but that's going to be after my vacation. $85 would include shipping, uh, you know, medium shipping and all that stuff. So thinking about doing but it'll only be 10 books. Uh, he said, hope, how you know? hope you get some fire. I hope so, too. We got Totally Awesome Hulk, number 14. So I heard this run wasn't that bad, so... Too bad it's not an earlier book, but it's number 14. So I got two left in this uh, box. So far, not really much fire. Uh, we got, this is a Mark Brooks cover. It's probably Extermination. It's probably Extermination cover. <laughs> if you spend too much. Actually, I won't spend too much on vacation because my wife is a stickler about budgeting, and we are on uh, like on a strict, you know, budget of what we're spending each day. So I won't be spending a lot <laughs> on vacation. Uh, rooms already paid for, cruises already paid for. Uh, just got to buy the tickets uh, for Disney. Um, and I think food is already taken care of for its cash flow. So it's like really on the tickets for Disney, I think. That's it. Last book. Oh, that's pretty. Now, that's a fire book. I've never seen that book before. I gotta open it up and see what this is. So I don't know. Comic Vanders might have a might have something to go after this book. I've never seen. This is from Unknown Comics. This is Venom number one fifty variant, a exclusive. Oh, Dollar Ben, appreciate it. He says, uh, thank you for the Pennsylvania Dust Slap. Appreciate it, Dollar Ben. I'm happy you got it. 
and I hope you enjoy this book here. It's like it feels like it's raised almost too. Uh, so this is Spawn 150. I, uh, I mean, not Spawn Venom 150, uh, Virgin variant. I've never seen this book before, so I don't know if it's forty dollars right or not, but that's pretty good. So so far, I would say so good for the uh, Spider-Man booth. If you went by just sticker prices, I mean, at 70, 85, and I'm just gonna say two dollar books. So I'll just say 85. Embossed. Oh, it says he said it's embossed. All right, I was wondering about that. So you got eighty-five dollars worth of books. I always like to cut it in half. So let's say it's fifty. So fifty dollars worth of books is not pretty bad for a box you spend, I think, thirty. Uh, Thirty dollars for. I don't see that cover either, so I got to do some more research on that. And I like, you know, that's a Marvel, so I got to see if uh, it's going to be a sell Marvel or a keep Marvel, because <laughs> I don't have it, the Venom run. So I got one left of Spider-Man booth, or should I just go straight to the Vantage? Let me know, Comic Vantage, the last Spider-Man booth box. That was yeah. That was the Spider-Man booth box. That was this one, the Anti Venom Club Spider-Man booth. So let me know that Spider-Man booth one vote so far. Just end it off with Spider-Man, then go with Comic Vantage. So, you know, I'm gonna so we're gonna see how it goes. And then, uh, if you guys want me to do my CGC unboxing, let me know. I'll definitely do that. Um, I, I can say how I'm hearing this. There's no bubble wrap in this. There's no grand prize. So. Spider-Man booth won't <laughs> like superiorly kill Comic Vantage. Uh, so there's no uh, bubble wrap out here. And uh, if you guys want me to do my CGC unboxing, I definitely will do it because it's my Todd McFarlane signature stuff. Don't know the grades. Um, I only see one that Spider-Man booth. So I'll just do that Spider-Man booth since we know it's not a GP. We know it's not a GP. Well, Bam, that's the first one. <laughs> we know it's no grand prize in here, so we're going to go through these just pretty quickly. You got uh, Sovereign number two from, uh, I guess, Image. We got, uh, I've forgotten this before. This is uh, Batman Glass number six, um, black and white. I've gotten this before. It's about a $10 book. It's not 20 at all. It's about $10. So I got three left. Got a Weapon X number twelve. Uh, actually, a pretty dope cover. Look at that cover. That is a dope cover. <laughs> Everybody saying do CGC unboxing. Hell yeah, CGC. <laughs> all right, we got. All right, this is a miss. Either Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel Virgin variant. Yeah, that is a nice looking Weapon X Weapon X cover. Like, I don't remember that cover. Last book so far. This box is so far, you know. But I did like that. I guess dollar book. I would call. I always call them dollar books when they have no price sticker. But that cover was actually pretty good. Oh, the Perillo, um, the Mortal Hulk, which one of the least favorite Perillo's covers. Um, so just because I've gotten this before and I really don't like this cover, that box is pretty sad. <laughs> I'm going to say that box is pretty sad. The best thing of the box didn't have a price sticker, and it was this one with the American flags on their faces, like the paint. That is the best book of the bunch, in my opinion. Um, the rest of those books are definitely not, you know, books that I am after. So that wasn't too bad. I'm going to actually put these books in the same spot. So, I mean, I would say, <laughs> so, uh, Biggie said boo. <laughs> yeah, that, those are pretty, uh, I'm kind of used to that with that Spider-Man booth, like, you know, you get a lot of variants. A few of the older books you get are hit or miss. Um, so 
Yeah. At least I didn't get, I don't think I got too much DC. I'm trying to double check. I don't think I got too much DC. I'll say I only got one DC so far, so. And in an in a image. Yeah, I got one DC and an image. So it wasn't too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So it was not terrible. So we're going to do the comic bandage. The comic bandage. Uh, it's pretty early on the new season of comic bandage. I don't know how it will do. Uh, you know, I've seen people been, you know, been very happy with it. So this, we got the sticker. Bam. The sticker. I got like a few stickers of different stuff, so I'm not 100% how you're supposed to open these. Um, I don't know if you start from the top or you start from the back. Chad's still in here. Let me know how you're supposed to start. Because <laughs> um, I definitely would like to do it correctly. Uh, I'll say the bags and boards are way better than uh, Spider-Man. I can feel like more... They feel better. So I think these, I see some little stickers. So I'll go this way and I see the first one because, so that's pretty cool. You got a Dr. Strange 60, Master of Mr. Archer. And then a, this is actually pretty good, pretty nice condition for the age of this book. I mean, you got Dr. Strange, you got Scarlet Witch, you got the new Captain Marvel. So there you go. That is a pretty nice, so far, so good. Now that's the type of stuff I like in those mystery boxes when you get an older book like this because it's a book that I'm probably going to keep. So we're going to go with the second one. Now we got a spawn number two. That's going to go with some other spawns that I have that I was going to. So we got the next three books I know had some like little uh, things on it. So we're going to see, and then I see a certificate in the back. Oh, we got uh, Nemesis. This is number issue two. I actually have Nemesis one through four or three. Uh, I got to see which ones I have because I think I'm actually missing number two. I think, the only, I think it's a three, the three-ish, I mean, four issues or three-ish. I don't remember. This is a variant, though. It says, must read $10. So, so far, so good with Dr. Strange and this one, because I think it feels, I think it, I don't know if I have number two. Now I'm going to have to really look. So, next one, I don't see it yet. Oh, what is that? Um, Robot Fighter number three, Valiant. Not in the best condition, but it says coupon included. Chess advantage wins. Actually, I would say, so far, Spider-Man book wins. So far, Spider-Man book wins. I'm going to easily say that right now. And this is the last book. It's a signed book. And it says it's a Del Auto cover signed by Tom King. I didn't know Del Auto did this cover. This is 75. Is I don't think this is I don't think is this the one where Alfred dies? I don't know. But it's signed by Tom King. He has his, has his uh, COA in the back. So if you want my honest opinion, my honest opinion, who wins? Who wins? Because I know this costs $40, and I basically got, I would say, I'm going to call this a $10 book as well. Uh Oh, it's the one before that the Alpha died. It was 70, 74. It was 74. Okay. So, in my opinion, Spider Man Booth blows away Comic Vantage. I do like the fact that they threw an older book in. Um, Spawn 2, definitely. Uh, let's see Spider Spider Man's again. I'll, I'm going to. 
I'll show the Spider Man. Is this it? Trying to make sure I because I kind of put them all in the same box. I don't want to try to make sure I got the, okay. the right books. Is this one on I don't know. I'm trying to make sure I keep the same, the right books in it. So this is the first. Uh, that that's not a vision book. It's a Doctor Strange sixty. So this is the first Spider-Man booth box. Uh, and that's why I say it blew it away. Uh, Marvel, uh, Zombie Resurrection, uh, variant copy. You had the Mark Brooks version variant for uh, I think Extermination Number 1. Then you had this Venom 150, like the embossed version variant. And then you had the two extra books. I think it was Totally Awesome Hulk was in this one. And this one as well as uh, this is number 14. So that's why I think I'm then only showing one of them, one of the boxes. I think Spider-Man blew, blew Comic Vantage away. Because I'm just sorry. I think uh, Venom 1, you get all three variants for six dollars. Venom one. I don't know what Ven I don't know what that means, Chad. Venom one. But this is Venom one fifty. This is one fifty. I looked at I looked in the back. Um I'll have my phone next to me. We'll look it up right now. Uh, look it up on the fly, Venom 150. Venom 150 variants. I bought a ton of them. Too bad it wasn't the Venom Scotty Young variant. I know that one, though. It goes like 25 to 30 bucks. I want to see it on there for sale. I mean, our sold listings. Uh, sold listings, I don't see. All right. They have, oh, a three pack. They have a three pack that had all three of them sold for $35. So I guess it's about, yeah, like, like you said, about $16 a piece. Three pack. That's the only one I see is sold as a three pack. I don't see them individually sold. I only see, yeah, I only see the one. 35, 39. So you could say $40 for three. Um all in all, that's still that doesn't change my mind. Um so I would say, you know, this $40 price ticker is definitely way off. I would say that's probably like Chad said, about a $16 book. $16 book. Um, I always say like half, so this is a $15 book. Uh, so you got $30, probably a $10 book. So all in all, I'm still more happy with the two Spider-Man booth boxes. Um, the Comic Vantage with all the hype and the hoopla and all that stuff. Uh, definitely, um, definitely a letdown. I wish the sign book would have been a Marvel or something I could like. So that's going to be definitely have to go. I'll add it to the DC thing and that. Um, so that is all. He said, <laughs> yeah, stickers just get me worked up. Yeah, the stickers are like the Spider Man Boost stickers are not even close to being right ever. Not even close to being right ever. Um, it would be nice if they were close to being right, but they're not. Um, so I would definitely, I'm still going to give Spider Man Booth the win. And, um, you know, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to give them the win. And we're going to move. Uh, sell me that extermination of Batman for 20. <laughs> sell so, you yeah, the extermination and the Batman for 20. Extermination. This one, Southern Geek? You talking about this one? Mm. 
Let me know that's the one you're talking about. I want to make sure I'm on the same page. And I'm going to do my... I'm going to do my CGC unboxing very soon. And the Batman, which Batman? Because I had the Batman who laughs. I had the Batman who laughs and the sign one. So the, uh, I'm assuming you mean the sign one, but you could have, you could be wanting the Batman who laughs. And I appreciate the 18 people in here. Appreciate people showing the love, showing the support. Um, if that's the if that's the one you want, uh, Southern Comic Geek, let me know. If that's the that's what you're talking about. These two? Oh, not these two. Let me know. Oh, the sign. All right. Southern Comic Geek, let me know. Uh, and uh, make it twenty five, and I'll now I'm gonna ship these out to you. Uh, with the other book you got, make it twenty five, and I'll pay the the difference for the shipping. So if you want them, Southern Geek, let me know. 25, I'll throw them in with the other two books, and I'll pay you the difference on the shipping because the shipping is going to be like, I think it's 8 or 805 now. So let me do this CGC unboxing so we can see what if I got full, full Todd signature T or and see a grade. So you sold, I got those back there with your other book like i said and i'll uh just hit me on ID with uh shipping address and we'll settle down and i'll get you so, so. the i don't know the grade i could have looked them up but i decided not to um got them pressed and clean so that's why mine took a little longer one of them i think i'm gonna keep one of them i'm not sure about so we'll see uh, both both of them might not be sure about, it, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know at the moment, so we're gonna see. Um, but uh, yeah, so hopefully, uh, he said. I said hopefully not the T Mac. <laughs> to me, he used to sign like that. What's up, Theory? He used to sign like that. So uh, we're gonna see the grades. What book? Ooh, you might have saw, you might have saw, you might have saw, you might have saw. I think I just saw the top, the grade for the top one, so we're going to go with that one first. And one of them was a Spawn Newsstand. Uh, one of them was a Spawn Newsstand, and the other one is a Spider-Man 299. Um, so the Spawn Newsstand most likely will be sold. I'm not a big Spawn collector, but I'm most likely going to keep the Spider-Man 299, so... This is a spawn book. I think I saw the, saw the grade. Yep, I did. So you got a 9.2. He signed it T. McFarlane on that one in the silver. But it is a newsstand at a 9.2. It had some like kind of dirt or some sticky substance on the back. Um, so that's why it got a 9.2. Besides that, it had only one spine tick. So I was hoping, you know, they would bypass some of the other stuff. So this one will be for sale. Um, it's a newsstand, and I have other small books to go with it. So you'll see it on one of the auctions, either Saturday, Saturday or Sunday. Um, not sure which auction. Uh, this depends. But like I said, I have some other small books to go along with that. Um, with that one and um so you'll see this again on the auction with another book so last book like i said is spider-man 299 i don't know the grade so we're gonna see i'm hoping for a nine six fingers crossed nine six fingers crossed oh yes. 
said, throw that bag away. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Look at that. And then I got Todd McFarlane, PC book. Look at that. I should have, well, I, oh, man, I'm, I'm, I am. This is the first appearance of Venom. I don't care what anybody says. Just like the 180 first appearance of Venom. Um, man, man, man. As this makes my decision, reason being is because the shop that I bought this from has two ninety nine, had two ninety eight, two ninety nine, and three hundred. I let the three hundred slip. The three hundred probably was a nine point oh or better. Probably was. Let it slip out of my hands. Um, 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 oh, this one's not for sale. Theory not for sale, buddy. I'm for sale. The spawn book is because I'm not a spawn collector. I collect more Spider Man. Uh, my, you know, Ninja Turtles, X Men, Spider Man. I'm my main, my main uh, guy. Things I collect. I do like uh, you know older books like Avengers, Black Panther, um, and um, I'm going blank right now. Um, and Hulk, I do like the older stuff of those guys, like you know, like the Hulk. I want to do definitely want to do the Hulk one through uh, one through I think it's six uh, run because uh, I have one or two already. You know, one of, you know some of those, but man, I can't stop. Uh, man, I, well, what I was saying is the shop has two ninety eight as well, and they still have it. I went to the shop today; they wanted forty five dollars for it. So I'm thinking if I go back up there since it's still there. Um, it, the only problem with the other one is it's miswrapped, but it's in the same kind of condition for us grade wise. And um, um, he said, of course, yeah, okay. If spawn was not funny, you said the same. I'm not a no, I'm not a spawn collector. I, the spawn news fan I bought to sell, they had it for really a cheap price, and um. I bought that one. I think this one at the same time. So it's kind of weird how you have two books, you know, like you have two books get together and want they sign differently. You know what I mean? It's I, I, the New York always talked about that. And it's kind of weird. So how do you, you must have separated people's books. You had to, um, and I thought that spawn book was a nine, four at least. So, um, so I'm happy with this. Very happy. 9.8. Um, I'm going to pick up that 298 as well, probably this weekend. Probably bring $40 and see if they'll take the 40 cash. <laughs> uh, but I'll get the 298 since I got 299 from them. And then I'll just have to hold off on the 300. And then uh, maybe I can find a 300 and a high grade copy as well. So, man. Very, very happy. I can't stop showing that book, smiling and stuff, man. Through my bag, <laughs> through the bag on the side because I'm actually put this in Mylar, this in a Mylar bag. So there you go. There you have it. There you have it. You got a Todd McFarlane 9.8299, and then you have the T Mac <laughs> that's newsstand that's going to be for sale this weekend. So, uh, I'm happy. Um, if anybody's interested in this one, let me know ahead of time. But I have, like I said, another book to pair with this. Uh, maybe another two books, possibly three. But I think it'd be another two books. T Mac must be rare. <laughs> T, T must be rare. I don't know if it's rare, but that's how he used to sign. Somebody told me. He used to sign like that more so than a Todd uh, McFarlane way. Um, but it's like I said, if anybody's interested in this book, let me know if, if you uh, want to talk before the auction. But like I said, I have another book to add to that. And, um, so I'm very happy random rambling on. Um, I do have, like I said, some more stuff to unbox, but I want to make sure somebody lied to me. Who lied to me? Who lied to me? It's 
I didn't lie to me. So I don't know who lied to me. But please leave a like, thumbs up. Please share, like, thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Appreciate it so much. Um, that's all I got. Like I said, I think Spider Man Booth won this round for Comic Advantage. Not saying I won't take another shot on Comic Advantage, but I won't right now. Um, probably do it after my vacation. So um, we'll see about that. Oh, he said I never seen T McCall it until now. Oh, <laughs> then it's probably then it's probably more rare. Then you might not like it, but it's more rare. And I mean, I like how he signs that. I don't mean, I, I guess the, he might have did them differently, but how he brings the E and the M and the L on these looks way cooler. I mean, look at the E, L, and F and stuff. That's, that looks way cooler, even though you want the whole signature. But look at the whole signature for this one. I mean, the E is 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 like that, but the M and the, you know all those other letters are, you know. So that's all I got. Um, like I said, the spawn it will be for sale, but I have a nice spawn book to go along with it. Would you like guys like to see the spawn book? You get a preview of, of what I'm gonna sell for the auction to go along with that spawn one. If I get let me check my if I can get where's my phone? I'll show you a preview if I can get because I got 12 people in here. If I can get 10 thumbs up, if I don't have it already, if I get 10 thumbs up, I will show, I will show, oh, I already have 10 thumbs up. So let's make it 11 since I got 13 people watching. So, uh, So let me see. Let me get 11 thumbs up. Let me just get 11 since I already had 10. Let me get 11. Let me get 11 thumbs up like like uh, <laughs> Strictly, my boy Strictly does. Give me a thumbs up, somebody. Give your boy a thumbs up. Oh, I got a thumbs down. Oh, I went down from 10 to uh, 9. <laughs> thumbs down. I love it. I had 10. So literally somebody thumbs it up and thumbs it down. That is freaking hilarious. That is freaking hilarious. That is freaking hilarious. You lying, Theory. You, you don't want that thumbs to down. <laughs> that is freaking hilarious. Oh man. All right. Since I since Theory said he dumped it up, thumbs it up. Uh I'm gonna show all right. So you guys know, like I said, this book is gonna be for, on the auction. It's a newsstand. They say there's like one in one hundred. Uh, compared to the regular covers, it is signed and McFarlane. This book, I will pair it up on the auction unless somebody's interested. Now, just message me. We got Spawn 175, that awesome cover uh, of, I think, Spawn Gunslinger. As you can see, if you can see it, there's a spine tick right here. So I think with the pressing, with the pressing, it could be up to a 9.4, up to a 9.4, but you can see that spine take. Um, but after the pressing, it would look way, way better. Uh, so you got the Spawn 175 and the one new stand. So there you go. What grass said, like I said, with a the pressing, the theory, I'm going to be honest, with a pressing 9.4 all day. I, you know, I've had other books with the same kind of spine tick. Once they got pressed out, because uh, that's the only issue with this book, it came back a 9-4. So I'm going to say a 9-4 that and uh, the Spawn 1 newsstand. So that is my preview for the auction book. Uh, I'll show you some new comic book day stuff I picked up. Since I got some people in here, we'll show some new comic book day stuff. Uh, besides my X-Men and my um, I got X-Men, X-Force. X-Men, X-Force. I can show those off. Those are not in bags and boards because um, I actually read those at the moment. So I'll just show those off really quickly. So I got Marauder 7. I got my X-Men, I think it's a 6. And then my X-Factor 7. So I got those books today. 
um, from from our pull list, and I was able to find these books as well because I know this has got hot like kind of double price. It's like ten dollars now. So you got Batman Beyond number forty, cover B. Then I found on cover A. So they had both of those as well. He said, "Nice book. I need a nine point eight chat. Help me." Good luck. You want a 9.8, you're going to be paying 9.8 prices. Uh, this book actually is hot right now. My shop had one, and I picked it up because uh, it was cover price. So you got Venom, 23 variant, Scotty Young. So it's actually like, it, like uh, it kind of says, a perfect book to get signatures on. You can get multiple signatures with all the white openings. Uh, I looked up this book, and it's selling for like $25 already. So I would expect this book to be on the top 10 hot list, CBSI, whatever you want to call it, Tom's top 20. Um, this book will be on there. Just be on the lookout for that. If your shop has it, look for, look for it because it's like not that important. Um, and like I said, theory, if you are, if you truly are interested, but you probably already have this book. I don't, you know, if you want the other book, I can definitely give you a good deal won't it's like i said i don't think it's gonna be a 9.8 i want to see safe size after press 94 but you never know what cdc could be 98 um but that's all i got for um for my show of unboxing and stuff like that uh, if anybody has any questions or anything of that nature let me know as i'm putting books away um Putting books away, but I have some nice, nice books to show for my hauls, my haul videos so far. Or uh, so. I have a nice kind of run of haul stuff. Um, So I can show that Friday when I get my other books in. So I got an epic, epic haul. It's not going to be like uh, my boy Erod, who had uh, like X-Men 1. But you're going to get a couple of key X-Men books. You're going to get a couple of key, uh, I would say, uh, Brother Voodoo books. Um, one for 10. Sit out. I'll get one. I got one for 10. I got one for 10. Which one you got for 10? Which one you got for 10? <laughs> you got you talking about that Venom? The Venom uh Scotty Young? I got it for cover. It was $3.99. So I was just happy I saw this look to say, oh, they got one. They had other the other covers, but they only had one of the Scotty Young. And I knew it wouldn't have been there if I'd have waited till to, to, uh till Friday. So I'm happy I went to the shop, took that book uh, that ride. Um, because it's a pretty cool Scotty Young uh variant. Like I said, I got some uh some books to show for my uh haul for the year, uh for 2020 haul so far. I can find all my books. I'm gonna try to keep them together. So yeah, the venom is cover right now, so yeah. 10 is not bad, though. I'll give you that, chat. 10 is not bad because um, I, I already looked on eBay sold listings. They're going for $25 plus shipping, so basically like $30. So 10 is still not bad for a book that's low print run. Not many shops ordered, probably those covers. So like I said, um, I'm going to do my, uh, I guess, 2020 haul. Like I'm waiting for some more books to come in. Um, and... You know, some more books are coming, and I'll do like my haul for 2020, and then I'll show you what books I'm thinking of sending to Erod to get pressed and cleaned. So I'm gonna end it on that note. Appreciate it. Very happy with this 9.8. I'm gonna put it in some mylar. Um, let's see if I can show any more books. Uh, that's gonna be that's almost that's basically sold. Oh. I might I might throw this up for sale as well. I'm not 100 percent sure. I wanted a 9.8 for the PC. It only came back a 9.6. So I'm 
So you guys leave comments, you know, in the, you know, in the comment section if you want to see that for sale. Not, I'm not 100 percent yet because I want to get a nine eight. I want to get a nine eight. Uh, so we'll see about that. Also, I will be doing my 700 uh, subscriber contest. I will be doing that, but it will be after um, my vacation because my vacation literally I leave in uh, eight days. I leave in eight days, so um, I'll do a, you know something when I come back. Um, Uh, I got one slab, like I said before, I'm giving away. Um, if we get more and more subscribers, I'll throw in another slab and stuff like that. Like, you know, if we go from 700 to like 800 or something before the end of the contest. But the contest will be after I come back from vacation. So I appreciate everybody who subbed me up. Um, I'll do more unboxing, more stuff like that soon. And uh, that's all I got. Appreciate people hanging around 12, hanging around the whole time. I've been 45 minutes. Um like I said, I've been very happy um, with the braids spawn. I wish it was a tad bit higher, 9.4. That's what I was hoping for. Um, the ASM book, I was actually hoping for a 9.6, got a 9.8. So you win some, you lose some. At the end of the day, I'm very happy. Um, like I said, I think Spider-Man booth won. You guys let me know. Um, but I will try a comic advantage again. Um, and updates coming up like i said i got the contest and i will be doing a 2020 haul uh, so far what i got so far 2020 um most likely friday or saturday morning so let me on the lookout for that like i said i'm waiting on a few more things to come in and i have another unboxing for jay blitz his mystery box so thank you guys for checking in appreciate everybody sub everybody up check out chad's channel uh theory uh, we had some people jump in late. I'm going to shout holly them. He jumped in late. Uh, cardboard crazies. Um, and I think Rob Boswell, I don't think I highlighted him. Uh, so check those guys out as well. Appreciate everybody stopping in. You guys be blessed. Have a great weekend when it comes up because we're close right there. And um, I'm going to watch some other people's channels because I think uh, Comic Head 84 is live. So check him out. Peace.